Hi, this is Tim with EarCandyTV.com and I'm going to answer a question real quick about how to check a cable with a multimeter and uh, it's pretty simple there's just a couple things you want to uh, keep in mind um, you got your cable and you got your ends when you're testing it take your multimeter and go ahead and set it to 200k and it'll give you just an arbitrary open reading um, yours may say zero before the decimal it may say 12 it may say 100 whatever it doesn't matter and the very first thing I always do is I test my multimeter by touching the two leads together and when you touch the leads together you'll see the meter zeroes itself out right there if you take them off you go back to the open arbitrary reading and touch the leads back together the meter reads out zeros so that's all you're going to do with your cable um, but what you have to keep in mind is you want to test the same parts of the cable at the same time um, you've got the tip and the sleeve for any mono guitar signal cable or, or speaker cable um, and for like microphones or studio link patch cables you'll have TRS cables which just stands for tip ring and sleeve sleeve is your ground the tip could be left and the um, ring could be right so this is a stereo cable you can test this with the with the same multimeter um, in the same way you're going to test test the uh, mono guitar patch cable and uh, you can test any cable at any length this way um, you know it could be a 10 foot cable a 50 foot cable it, it doesn't matter you're going to be able to test it like this so let's get our uh, get our meter here it's open set at arbitrary and what you want to do is take one of the test leads from the multimeter and touch it on the sleeve of the end of one cable and then take the test lead from the multimeter and touch it to the other end of the same part of the cable so you're testing sleeve to sleeve or ground to ground right now and you'll see over on the meter that it has zeroed itself out now the second I let the the test lead come off the cable you'll get arbitrary again so right here we're testing that the ground or sleeve of this cable the sleeves and the cable are good because we're getting it to close the arbitrary reading so now you know that the ground in this cable is good to go the next thing you have to test is the tip or the positive you just do it the same exact way you just touch one one test lead to the tip of one end and one test lead to the tip of the other end and you'll see that the meter zeroes itself out don't set the meter to voltage or uh, amps it's not going to tell you anything just go ahead and set it to the 200k on the ohms or resistance part of the multimeter and touch the appropriate parts of your cables with the test leads and that's it now if you touch the right you know if you touch the sleeve on one end with the test cable and the sleeve on the other end with the test cable and you don't get it and you don't get it you know any reaction out of the multimeter then the cable is bad somewhere um, and it takes further testing equipment to figure out where the the signal break is in the cable whether it's at the soldering lead or if there's something defective within the cable um, but really the you've gone as far as you need to go the cable don't work toss it get a new one or the cable works and you've eliminated that problem or you've eliminated the cable from being the suspect in whatever your problem is that you're trying to solve uh, I hope that helps if you have any other questions or if this didn't cover what you're trying to figure out hit me back and I'll try to shoot you another video thank you for watching our videos please subscribe please ask us to be friends and hang out anytime thanks a lot